Yo, what's up, family? Shalom. Look, I want to read to you guys. If you've got your Bibles, let's um, read together Isaiah 57. The righteous perished, and no man left to the heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Just think about that for a minute, family. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw, draw out the tongue? Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? Inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys, under the clefts of the rocks. Hmm, what does that sound like? Among the smooth stones of the stream and thou portion, they, they are there, thou lot. Even to them thou hast poured a drink offering, thou hast offered a meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? Upon a lofty and high mountain hast thou set thy bed? Even thither wentest thou up to offer sacrifice? Behold the doors also, and the post hast thou set up thy remembrance. For thou hast discovered thyself to another than me, and art gone up. Thou hast enlarged their bed, and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest their bed where they saw it sit. And thou wentest to the king with ointment, and did it did it in, increase thou perfumes, and did it send thou messengers far off, and did it debase thyself even unto hell. Thou art weary in the greatness of thy way, yet saidest thou not. There is no hope, for thou hast found the life in thy hand, therefore thou hast not grieved. And and of whom hast thou been afraid or feared that thou hast lied and hast not rem remembered me nor laid it to thy heart have not I held my peace even of old and thou fearest me not I will declare thy righteousness and thy works for they shall not profit thee when thou criest let thy companies deliver thee but the wind shall carry them away. Vanity shall take them. But he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain, and shall say, Cast ye up, cast ye up. Prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thou hast said the high and lofty one that inhabit eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and the holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I always be wroth. For the spirit shall fail before me and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth and smote him. I hid me and was wroth, and he went on frowardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and he and will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore and comfort unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near, saith the Lord, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest whose waters cast up mirror and dirt there is no peace saith my God to the wicked Amen fear the Lord your God you can't be of the world and be of God you can't be like this world and claim to be a woman or a man of God you will be told someday to depart from me, worker of a lawlessness, worker of iniquity. I do not know you. If you make excuses for sin and you are claiming to be representing Christ, woe unto you.